So, in the previous video, we dealt with expressions inside the absolute value with addition and subtraction. In this one, we'll, do with, we'll deal with expressions inside the absolute val value involving multiplication and division. And um, so we'll do two examples here involving multiplication and then two over here with division. For the next video, what we're going to do after that is we're going to do cases where you have multiplication, addition, division, and, and subtraction. So you take, you take everything that we've learned and combine them. And then you see how you would do those. So let's get back to this video. So let's do, um, let's do these examples. So the general principle is always the same regardless of what you have inside the absolute value. The general principle, just to remind you, is to simplify as much as you possibly can inside the absolute value, then to evaluate the absolute value when you can't simplify any further. So let's look at this example here. We, we can simplify, so what we do is we carry on the absolute value. Then we, uh, we try to simplify as much as we can to the next step. So we can simplify this because we know what 2 times 3 is. So 2 times 3 is 6. So two, the absolute value of 2 times 3 is the same thing as the absolute value of 6. Now, we, can, we can't simplify this step anymore. So what we do is we evaluate the absolute value. Now we take the absolute value of what's inside. So the absolute value of 6 is just 6. And we're done. Let's look at the next example. So we have, um, <clears throat> we have the absolute value of negative 7 times 2. So we can simplify. So we keep the absolute value symbol. And we know what negative 7 times 2 is. That would be negative 14. So we can't simplify any further. So now we take the absolute value of what's inside. So the absolute value of negative 14 is 14. So that's the final answer. Now let's deal with uh, division inside the absolute value. As you can tell, it's not that hard. It's very simple. You already know how to do this. We're just adding this idea of the absolute value. So we can simplify this further because we know we can simplify negative 12 divided by 4. That would be the absolute value of negative 3. We can't simplify any further from this step, so now we evaluate the absolute value. So the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Okay, let's do the last example. What is negative? So we can simplify since we, know how, we have a division that we know how to do. So let's put the absolute values there. What is the absolute value of negative 6? Sorry, what is negative 6 divided by negative 3? That would be 2. <coughs> we know we can't simplify any further, so now we take the absolute value of 2, which is 2. Let's do one example where we have division and multiplication inside the absolute value. As you can tell, hopefully, it's not that difficult. You're just doing what you already know. And then the only thing is, once you're done, you take the absolute value. It's, pretty, it's, it's not that difficult. Hopefully. OK, let's do this. Let's give some magical numbers. Okay, let's look at what we have here. We have the absolute value of 16 divided by 4 times negative 2. So, same general principle, simplify as much as we can, then take the absolute value. So, let's, let's do it step by step. Let's do, the, let's, let's, um, let's do this step by step instead of doing it all in our heads and then taking the absolute value. So, we can simplify, so we put absolute value symbols. What is 16 divided by 4? 
Well, that's just four. And since we didn't do anything with this, the times negative two, we bring it down. So times negative two. So can we simplify any further? Yes, we can. So we put the absolute value symbol. So uh, what is four times negative two? That's just negative eight. We can't simplify anymore. So what is the absolute value of negative eight? That's eight. So we're done. So in the next video, we're going to do some uh, Bedmus examples where we have a mixture of subtraction, addition, multiplication, division inside the absolute value and how we would do those examples.